Hello guys, this is Ray here once again from shortcrashcourse.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the apps apps.txt file and upload it on your server so that Google, you can, you, you Google, you can see the apps.txt for verified seller. So basically, the apps.txt file is a not a text file that contains list of authorized sellers that can you know sell your inventory that can display ads on your site okay so to achieve this we're going to go to apps then we click on view all apps now you see we have where we have here app ads.txt on website it's just basically called ads.txt but this is for the app so you have to it's called app ads.txt so if you click here you see that you haven't set up an app ads.txt yet app ads.txt lets buyer know which sources are authorized to sell your inventory set up ads.txt now and we'll verify the location and format now it's not important for you to get to know all the jargons about iab advertising whatever whatever and all that those things are not necessary all you just have to do is to know how to set up the app ads.txt upload it to your server your domain then provide that to google and google verifies that okay google on your admob dashboard google will give you the txt file all you just need to do is to upload now we're going to click here he said, we crawled the following URLs for your apps.tss and found this apps requesting a saving ad. The crawl is based on the developer, so none was found here, no data to display status. So when we finish setting up, the crawl will be done again to check that. So say how to set up app.txt. So click it here. So he said, how to if you haven't already, create an apps.txt file using the spec provided by IAB. Copy and paste the following code snippet into your app. So we're going to copy this because our advertiser is google.com. And direct okay this is a publisher ID then direct so we're going to publish your app.txt file on the root of your developers website for example sample domain.com forward slash apps dash ads.txt make sure the domain is entered exactly as listed on Google Play or the App Store wait at least 24 hours for the app to crawl and verify your apps and then come back to AdMob and check the apps.txt so got it so this process is not technical all I need to do is to log in to the go to the site of the app because the the, the site of the app is givver.com giver.com and now that url is provided on google when the app was uploaded so that's the url they're going to be checking out for so is to go there log into the c panel or the back end whatever panel is using whatever um management on the server side then upload a file or create a new file called app dash ads dot txt a text file then copy this code that is provided here from your admob dashboard and paste there then save once you save that is done google is going to check again for that file and once they find it that problem is solved you've created an app ads dot txt file for the app it is very important if you don't do that it causes a problem from your revenue and all that and you see a lot of notifications showing on your dashboard so i want us to proceed to achieve this to do this so i'm going to go to the server okay i want to go to the server so let's go here so to log in So I'm trying to access the cPanel, the root domain of the website where this app is connected to, okay? So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to, go to cPanel. Okay, 
So the C panel is here. So now I'm going to go to the file manager. This is the file manager. So from the file manager now, I'm going to be looking for so this is it so right here i'm going to create the file here this is the root directory okay the root directory so since i'm going to go to the public here then i'm going to click new file so the file is going to be add dash adds dot txt okay you create new file So now I'm looking for the file so I could edit it. So this is it. So you see there's arts.txt and there's app arts.txt. So I go ahead and click edit. So the file is going to be empty because we just created an empty.txt file, a text file. So now I'm going to proceed to here where Google had the instruction and copy this code snippet copy to clipboard and go back and paste it here paste then i click save so i click close now on the app that says it was zero bytes so we will refresh now reload that's going to change because we've added a file there so you see it's now 58 bytes okay so now that we've done that we can go back here and say got it okay so now google is going to crawl this in 24 hours he said we crawl the following urls for your apps at the txt and found this app requiring to save an ad so now the crawl is based on the deliver website in your app store so now that we've done that when they crawl again when google crawls again google will find the apps.txt for this particular domain because this is the domain we just did that for it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward just the way i did it now okay so guys that is how to create an app ads.txt file for your app on the google admob dashboard i hope you enjoyed that crash course on google admob i'll see you in the next video bye for now